Indie Mogul. Hey everyone, welcome to Backyard Effect. This week we're showing you how to build another big ass gun. In this episode, we'll be tackling another viewer requested effect. Crusader 325, Cityscape Pictures, and Z Hunter all requested a cheap rocket launcher prop. And to construct it, we have build team member Seth. And this week, just to change things up, let's have Gary spin the wheel to determine our budget. Two four foot long art tubes with included inner tubes. 12 by 12 inch piece of plexiglass or plastic. Three mix all buckets. Two toy guns. One doorstop. Electrical fasteners. One pegboard box. One oil change kit. PVC fittings and adapters. A scrap one by two. And some scrap foam board. You drank all my root beer! Have you lost your mind? Oh yeah? Suck on this! This project is rated skill level 7. Our rocket launcher is going to consist of a front and a back piece that lock together to form one serious weapon. Starting with one of your art tubes, cut an angled pen shape at one end like so. Take special care to measure and cut this part precisely. It doesn't have to look exactly like ours, but you'll need very straight lines to create that manufactured look. Next, cut out some exhaust vents on either end like so. These will help you place the inside part later. Now onto the trickiest part of the build, the main plating. Start with a thin plastic or plexiglass sheet. Ours was 12 by 12 with a one one eighth thickness. Draw on a symmetrical design like so and cut out with a rotary tool. Watch out for melted plastic edges. Once you've cut out your design, you need to shape it to wrap around your barrel. I placed my plating towards the back end of the front piece and used a heat gun and scrap piece of tubing to conform it to the barrel without wrinkling. Always use even strokes with a heat gun to prevent burning and bubbling. Now cut the bottom off one of your mix buckets and glue it inside the front of this piece. At this point, you can cut your second tube into two pieces that are one and a half feet long, leaving you a scrap piece. Slide these pieces over one of the inner tubes and glue in place. This forms the back piece of your launcher. Now cut the tops off your remaining two buckets and glue one to each end of your launcher pieces. Screw in a 1x2 piece of scrap wood to the bottom of the front piece. This will serve as a base for the handles as well as a nice guide when connecting the front and back pieces. To create your launcher handles, you need the two toy guns, the pegboard box, and the oil change kit. Cut the tops off both guns and trim the other two plastic pieces like so. The gun should fit securely inside the plastic pieces and everything should conform to the barrel. Use epoxy to attach these handles to the launcher barrel. Next, attach the large PVC adapters to the front and back of your launchers and accent with cut up pieces of foam board. Use your small PVC parts with metal mounting brackets to make a cool sight. Next, take some of your scrap plexiglass and cut up a baddical cereal plate, front sight, and any other pieces you need to fill in any gaps. Bolt on a door stopper as a shoulder rest and fill in any more gaps with plumber's epoxy. Finish up with a four step paint job. One uniform chrome coat, green for the barrel and black for the handles. Add a light mist of black paint for the accent, and you are done. My name is Sergeant Slaughter. I am looking for the leanest and the meanest bastards around. Yeah, a friend of mine um, was guarding refrigerators on base. Something small like that, just a start. I need patriots, not f***ies. And thus ends another BFX build episode. Big thank you to everyone who wrote in and requested this effect. And of course, thank you to Seth, who stayed up very late finishing an awesome prop. Make sure and check out a brand new Indie Mogul original short coming out tomorrow. It was written and directed by Immortal Dog Productions the same guys behind the Fishman test film, so you know it's gonna be awesome. We will see you next week with a brand new build episode. What's your favorite G.I. Joe character? Let us know by leaving a comment down below.